Yes, so today's topic is, I think I want to start out with gold making actually, I thought I'd say that but, and start with rating, but no, I'll go with gold making. Um, yeah, this is the Water Gold Brainstorms minicast, uh, episode 10? So, <laughs> anyways, uh, with gold making, what I want to say is, it's very, very, very interesting. Um, Prior to mists, okay, Cataclysm was the age of like I was completely into gold making, leveling alts, and just I don't know. I was really like leveling alts wasn't really even a a, a real plan. It was more like I wanted to raid. Um, this is something that I've been coming back to like. This comes back every, like, every other episode I'll be talking about the Cataclysm, I wanted to raid, couldn't do it, blah blah. So, you know, but anyways. So the thing is, uh, with Cataclysm, you know, I was deeply into gold making, was spending tons of time. It was like 98% of the time was, you know, just being in-game, doing things that were, you know, either crafting or buying or... You know, just spending time in the auction house. So, when when mists was announced, and you know, I was like, okay, cool, I'm gonna get ready for mists. Let's make it happen. I was like, okay, cool, I'll switch my hunter to enchanting from I think it was tailoring. No. Yeah, I have no idea. Anyways, something, something. No, it wasn't because I had. Well, it was something else. Uh, who knows? I don't care. That's in the past. Um, so anyways, I I went enchanting with my hunter and I was like, hey, cool. You know, I'll use this enchanting as a gathering profession and I'll make tons of gold because, you know, enchanting mats will sell. Everyone will need them. You know, the prices will be high. New expansion. Yay, yay, yay. So anyways, uh, Little Graze is born. And I just noticed that, you know, gold making is not as important as it used to be. I start questioning the time that I put in. Because, I mean, I'm talking like insane amounts of time. Um, not like I was on daily not working, but I'm talking like if I was home from work, I'd spend tons of time, you know, just being in-game and just crafting things and wasting time and just, I don't know, just, yeah, wasting time really. Because, I mean, I could have done the same things. Well, I could have made the same amount of gold. In like 20% of the time, if I would have used other ways of, you know, other other means of making that gold, other methods basically, uh, time-wise. So shit, it's cold. Thought it'd be warmer, but it's cold. But anyways, so uh, let me think here. Yeah. So anyways, with the gold making, you know, I thought, okay, for miss, I'll be, you know, I'll streamline that shit. I'll use two accounts. You know, shit's going down. I'm gonna make it happen, and I'll become that, like, gold maker that I always wanted to be. Well, actually, I didn't know about. I mean, I knew that I want to make gold when I began playing, but I didn't know that I would be making gold in so many ways. And I didn't know the methods. And I mean, TSM has changed tons of things. So, anyways, <laughs> yeah, I keep on. There's like association bombs going on, and they have like this debris and there's like residue and all kinds of shit so a thought goes here a thought goes there boom 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 let's make it happen so where was i so anyway with the gold making yeah and it's morning uh one hour forward uh sweden stockholm oh, yes <laughs> yeah it's actually the day uh after easter so that's good times happy easter guys anyways so with the gold making thing i had a plan you know, I was going to use two accounts. I was going to get into the glyph business, and then miss launch, launch, miss miss launch, like kind of like slauncher. <laughs> anyway, mists is launched, and what I notice is gold making does not mean the same as it once did. Really, it doesn't. What I notice with mists is I'm playing my one tune, my main, my hunter. And I'm sticking to him. And I'm going to play him 
and push them as far as possible. Now that's the kind of mindset that I get into from, you know, coming from this miss, well, I'm sorry, from the, this cataclysm idea where I was more like, okay, I want to make gold. This game is boring. Let's make gold. At least I can you know, learn something about economics. And I mean, it's a fun time. And I mean, now it's a lot more, I mean, that's, it's very interesting to me, like how it changed completely from going like, I don't know. Anyways, so the thing is, that happened, and I just like, okay, the second account, I have a warrior, he's 85, but I'm not leveling alts anytime soon. I mean, I am leveling alts very, very slowly, but it's not like I'll, you know, run a second account just because I want to play an alt, like a warrior, every fourth, sixth, eighth month. Uh, and I'm being, like, pretty accurate there, I think. So, uh, what I've done is I've been focusing on raiding, and I've, I've recorded stuff about this before. But the thing is, and this is why I'm talking about gold making now, and I've tweeted about this, but, I mean, the patches. 5.0 hits, there's dailies. I'm not going to rant about that. I had a good plan for that, and that worked out nicely. I did one faction at a time. I did it at my own pace. No stress. Lovely. Loved it. Uh, and also, I went slower. So even if I was behind the gear curve, I was still, you know, out DPSing my guildies. And that's what you get for being in a social guild. <laughs> but, yeah, anyway, so, uh, yeah, so the thing is, gold making. Patch 5.0 hits. I don't really care about gold making. Fuck that. 5.1 hits. And I'm, I get this kind of, like, it's not like I want to make gold, but I notice that I get a bit more attached to the whole gold making thing. Right now I can't remember how, uh, but I know that I started looking at items, not sure which items, but I, I just, somehow, gold making just, something happened, okay? Cool. 5.2 hits. Well, it hits the PTR, and I noticed that, oh shit, I might want to make gold again. Like, on a, I don't know what kind of level, but I, you know, I just want to, somehow I want to make gold. So, patch 2 is out now. It's been out for, like, I think this is a month now, first month. Uh, and what I'm noticing now, I mean, like, really, is I'm on the fucking remote auction house, posting auctions, checking shit, and actually... You know, spending time crafting and making gold, and like, like really, like, okay, cool. Uh, these items sold. These these items got undercut. These items need to be reposted. Um, so, what I'll do is, uh, I log in quickly, craft them. If I have to send them over, I send them over. Uh, like my lock, he's in the silken silken fields, the tailoring shit. So I won't have them by the mailbox because running back and forth takes too much time because this is another thing with the gold making. Now, as a father, you know, little grays and all, and then a six-year-old, I do not want to spend time in-game running to a mailbox, taking out mail. You know, I want to be as efficient as possible and just fucking play the game, kill things. Now, that doesn't mean that I do it, but I mean, at least I don't want to spend time on bankers. Well, at least not more than I want to, well, more than I need, I guess you could say. So, what I'm noticing now is I'm kind of competitive with the remote auction house. I'm not saying that I'm making much, much gold, but ever since I really, like, okay, cool, let's make some gold, and I decided to, like, okay, the items don't sell for what I, what I'd like. I mean, mists... And the professions, I mean, they really fucked us gold makers over, overs, over. And um, I think that's a really good thing, really, really good thing, because um, that means that it's easier for the middleman, <laughs> middleman, easier for the regular players, 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 to make gold. You know, to to catch up in a sense. Um, while it's harder for us to stay above, you know, ahead of the curve, unless you're like completely into it the way that I was back in the days. Uh, and and the thing I noticed was the old strategies that I had they they aren't working anymore because because the markets are just I don't know like jewel crafting I mean shit man I sure I can sell gems but I'm a low pop I'm on a low pop realm you know horde side and yes that's a ghost crawler quote from in, the instance and I mean I'm not gonna be spending 
half an hour each day posting stuff just to be undercut to have the I mean there's just so many things I won't even get into here but I mean really really so what I'm doing now I'm selling PvP gear that's that's fun you know especially since it's linked to PvP <laughs> so I mean auction house PvP was something that I wanted to write about I actually thought about writing something for the hatchery um, uh, the power word gold hatchery blog but uh, and I also thought of writing it for myself and where gold just didn't happen so, I mean, auction house PvP, I mean, it really comes down to, you know, cutthroat, like, using different methods. Do you overcut? Do you undercut? Do you undercut by, like, a, a gold, a copper, uh, hundreds of gold? And with the PvP gear, what I did was I, um, I undercut by hundreds. So, let's say someone posts something for 800. I go down to 600, depending on the seller. Like, if it's, a like, one guy selling something, and he's not an undercutter that logs in, you know, off and on, well, I mean, like, all the time, then I'll just, like, okay, cool, 800, cool, I'll take it down to 700, you know, it will last, cool, we'll see what happens, we'll go, boom, 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 but, I mean, if it's, like, a person that's, you know, I post, I see, uh, I, I post, like, let's say, 700, he goes 699, I let that shit lapse, and then next time I go, okay, he's up, for whatever his price is, I go okay, four hundred, and then he goes three ninety nine, and then I go okay, fuck it, two hundred, and then he goes one ninety nine. Then I'm like, okay, cool, this dude, he has too much time, right? So it's not that I won't post; it's just that I'll set like, okay, cool, I you know I set the price to three hundred or whatever, and it's like, okay, if it sells, that's cool. If not, I'll just put it up for three hundred again. But then I was listening to uh, I was listening to uh, shit. I'm about to say Twizzcast. My God, you know sometimes when I talk, I hear different voices in my head, and I'm like, okay, cool. What the fuck am I trying to sound like Twiz? But um, what I wanted to say was uh, I was listening to actually I am listening to ah uh, oh, fuck. I'm about to say the instance. Ah, uh, what's it called? Yeah, call to auction, right? Euripides, and he was talking about him selling PvP gear. You know, 160 gold. A pop, and he, you know, <laughs> and he crafted like sixty of them, and just you know posts in batches and just crashes the market, um, and you know he get he gets angry emails and he keeps selling. So what I did now was I had tons of you know it's a Saturday so I had tons of stuff uh, to sell and I was like okay cool you know I'll sell, but why not be inspired by uh, Euripides here? And I also went into, into the Undermine Journal, because this is the funny part. And this is, and I think this is what has happened. I mean, the shift from the way that I used to make gold uh, into the way that I make gold now is basically, before it was all about in-game. Using the add-ons, uh, spending time, scanning, uh, undercutting, mass crafting, you know, shuffling shit, uh, prospecting, you know, guild banks, moving this, moving that, and just, I don't know, just tons of stress. Um, and I'm, I'm talking out of a perspective where, I mean, right now my perspective has changed. So when, I, when I'm saying stress, I mean that it's just thinking of it makes it stressful now, you know. I'm not saying that it was stressful then, but, I mean, looking at it, like, from a father's perspective, you know, little greys and all, I'm like... That time does not exist. And if I had that time, I would not spend that much time on the auction house. You know, I, I'd rather do other things and, you know, develop myself as a fucking person than, you know, fucking, you know, just make more gold. Although, if you look at time spent, it's actually less gold. So, the thing here is, what I, what I do now, and this is, I, I spoke about this on the last recording. I haven't uploaded it yet. I know, I know. But, and this was something that, George Wilde spoke about, and I know I'm repeating myself, but this is the way that she does it. Um, the remote auction house, I've been on and off with that thing. And I've been kind of like, okay, if I sell on the remote auction house, it needs to be items that are like vials of the sands, you know, the big ticket money items, you know, like, uh, you know, make tons of gold for the time spent. And then I had a, like, during mess, yeah, that's what I was doing, like 5.1 somewhere there. I was selling Tinker's gear. Also, 5.0 a bit, but you know, I was I was using the remote auction house and posting Tinker's gear and like deeply undercutting, and then the the market got fucked up, so I left that alone. But now, what I'm noticing is I want to make I want to make gold 
without being in the game. And that's the whole game right now for me. You know, it's all about how much gold can I make without being in the fucking game. So, like, I use... Um, the Undermine Journal, I could use WoW Auction, but I don't really care how much, like, how many times items sell, because what I'm selling right now, I'm going for, not commodities, but I'm going for items that are of <laughs> lower value, like, let's say, if it's like, uh, I mean, PvP gear, it's not necessarily lower value, but I mean, I've gone down to 150 gold right now, and that means that I have lowered the value, but... And this is the other part of the story. If I sell more simply because I've lowered the price, that means that I'm making more gold. So, we, you know, you, go, you get back to this whole greedy goblin thing in Gevlon where it's all about, okay, you can either undercut one copper and go fight up there or you just fucking deeply undercut above margins and just see what the fuck happens. Now, there's always going to be goblins out there that will, uh, you know, have counter strategies and all that. I don't care. I don't care. As long as I don't have to spend more time thinking about what price should I post for, you know, I'll just keep on, go yeah, yeah, keep on going. And the funny part here is with the PvP gear, because w- when we got the chance to uh, discover PvP gear in 5.2, because I, I would not level alts, I mean, like to level 90, or I wouldn't, not, or actually, it's not that, it's not even that I would level 90, it's rather I would not farm Spirits of Harmonies on alts. Um, I mean, you could say that, yeah, but you could be farming cloth on an alt, you could be farming... Uh, nah, nah. I don't have the time. If I'm in-game, I want to play my main. My main is the tune that I want to, you know, do th- <laughs> do things on, you know? Um, he's the one that I want to progress with. <laughs> so, right, I should not be recording right now, but just, you know, just make it happen. Oh, on a side note, and this is um, like some serious, heavy-duty, tough-work shit, uh, codependency... Uh, pink elephants, white elephants in the room and all that, like, I mean, like, on a serious note, there's tons of things happening right now in life, great stuff, but uh, the six-year-old is not feeling okay, and I just got out there, because uh, I had to go to the shops, and that's when I record usually, unless I'm on a lunch break, but I haven't gotten back to that lunch break recording session type thing yet, <sighs> but either way, man, you know, take care of your kids, that's all I want to say, you know, take care of them, help them, you know, there are kids out there, they build walls because they can't handle the situation that they're in, and uh, they don't know any other way to do it, so what happens is they distance themselves from people that, that love them, and, uh, you know, take care of your kids, really, I just had to mention that, uh, I might have actually get into that on another recording, but, so... Right, let's see here. Uh, fuck it. Gold making, gold making, gold making. Fuck, I might need to... You know what? I'll take a break. I'll get back to you guys. Uh, I need to get back on track at peace. Right. Yeah, I think I got it. So, with the... What I'm talking about here, and this is something I mentioned, was, you know, the whole gold making thing. Um, what I'm doing now is I want to make as much gold as well, not as not as much gold as possible, but I want to be as, as as efficient as possible, and not use the in-game auction house. Well, actually, use it as little as possible. If I put it that way. So what that means is I'll be using the Undermine Journal when it comes to like if I'm crafting items, like let, let's say PvP gear. I want to make sure that I know the margins. Like okay, like if I post it at this level. How much gold do I lose, right? Now, the way that I buy, when I buy in bulk, I usually go... I buy... I'm not the kind of person... Well, never mind that. But when I buy... Okay, this is important, actually. Because you might be a gold maker or want to make gold. And the mistake that I do when it comes to buying items is... And mats, sorry, buying mats. Is that I will be like, okay, cool. I, I won't check the like exact margins i'll be more like okay cool this price seems good let's go and then i might buy like 50 stacks of something now my realm is low pop and it's fucking dying so we don't have 50 stacks of anything anymore and i'm not talking wind wheel here but i mean so what happens is i buy tons of things and the margins might not be as good as i would hope they were simply because i didn't do the research but now since i've decided to go in with a real like okay cool let's make gold without using the fucking in-game auction house which sucks i mean even using the uh i used to like auctionator i mean 
Yeah, I used to like Auctionator, really. And I mean, just going in there, having to type the alt click thing, setting the price, looking at the, I mean, it takes too long. It takes too long. Using the remote auction house, I log one tune, I log the next, I log, you know, I just fucking rotate tunes. I have a set price, it remembers the price, it's all set in stone. Now you could say, yeah, but dude, Grace, use TSM, man. What the fuck you been, man? Homie, I was using TSM. Loved it, you know, Kata. But the whole thing with TSM is you gotta be in game. You have to spend time in game. The way that I make gold now, being in game is not a part of the plan you know so this is like a whole for me i'm not saying i'm anti tsm it's not that i'm anti spending time i don't have right so if i need to come up with another method to make gold since right now it seems like i'm back into gold making i mean whoa what the fuck happened there grace i mean dude um and I, and that's another thing Gold making, like if I look at my playstyle, rating first, right? And then it's PvP, and then it's uh, gold making, and farming, and I don't know what. And the way that I'm playing right now is as if, um, as if we're at the end of the expansion. And I like the fact that I can mix them all. Um, I'm waiting for the patch, the 5.3 patch, really. Well, actually, waiting... <sighs> shit you know what that's a topic that i'll get into later you know what we'll let this thing go i'll get back to you guys uh it's been all over the place and take care of your kids that's the most important thing really spend less time in game spend spend more time with your kids be efficient have fun and miss is still awesome grace bdf signing out loving you guys oh big hug big hug to nev nev the auction house addict big hug from me just so you know uh i support you 100 percent what else ah oh, fuck i, I don't want to get into a hole like i want to give love to people oh, i'm so emotional right now and that's what happens man when you work on your codependency thing you know your emotions start you know they they start booming up you know you uh you start feeling things that you didn't feel back in the days but okay let's go for it twist cast big hug to you too man well, Twizzle Tank. <laughs> well, now it just goes by Twiz, so I know it's my mind messed that up. For some reason, I've changed his Twiz to Twizcast, which is the entire podcast. Anyway, so, yep, love is a good thing, right? See you guys later. Peace.